What up, peeps? It's your boy. You all right, bro? Mm. Are you okay, dude? The penguin. Hello, you all right, man? You all right? I'm sitting next to my boy, the wall. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you like a zombie or something? It's Halloween. I hope you're not a zombie. Mm. Oh, Oh, Jesus. Uh, welcome to Studio Chat, episode 15. Ah, ah, ah. See, I can count like Dracula. Welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, Mm-hmm. Hey, what? Hey, man. So, how you been? Well, I've been better. No, not nothing. No, nothing. No. I'm a ghost. Uh, this must be our second annual, second official Halloween episode. Happy Halloween. Everybody. Happy Halloween, everybody. From the Wicked Turtle Club to you, you. You, you, it's you. like Christmas around here. By and the way. we're singing and we're dancing because it's Halloween and it's my favorite holiday. Also, also from the Wicked Turtle Network, indeed, a special uh-huh. happy birthday for me for you. Oh, I didn't even expect it's your birthday. That. It's my birthday. Presents, month. yes. Candles. Ooh, spooky pumpkins. I love pumpkins, so he does. You. Yo, you've been on a pumpkin fit this whole month. I've had plenty of pumpkins. Are we he's throwing been, up a picture? He's yeah, we should. We throw up some Instagram photos, by the way. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram so you can see all that fun. You want the story behind that? Stuff. Do you want the story behind that? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's hear that story. All right, so sorry, grandma, but you're gonna live forever in this podcast. So <laughs> Way back, she had that one of those surgeries for like the gastric bypasses or whatever. Oh, okay. Which had caused her after that to anytime she got grossed out, she'd go into these like burping fits where <laughs> it's just hilarious. So I go out of my way as a sweet grandson that I am to gross her out whenever possible. So this year, I'm carving my first pumpkin. And I cut the thing open, I stick my hand in there, and I'm like, well, you know what that feels like? Guts. What did you think? You dirty, sick, perverted pig. I love you. Anyway, I pulled out the guts of the pumpkin, and she's just like, oh, ew, that's so gross. And I'm like, is this gross? Uh, <laughs> so I'm like shoving it in my mouth, letting it rest on my face, as you'll see in the pictures. You were eating um, the top. Here's the deal. Pumpkin straight out of a pumpkin does not taste It's though. disgusting. It is probably one of the worst things I've ever Baked put in my mouth. Baked in a pie with mouth. spices and sugar? Worst thing I've ever put in my mouth, and that's a challenge. I've had many things in my mouth that were unpleasant. You do like pumpkin pie, though. I love pumpkin pie, though. Me too. I, you know, I could eat that not Here's just here. Pumpkin right pie, there. pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin bread, pumpkin loving. That's my I way. just remember, you love my pumpkin cheesecake i love remember when i made that for you guys i made that for you uh, so i always wanted to go to the the cheesecake factory and try their pumpkin cheesecake but i never get there between september and november so i never get it just remember you know what i should do that for your birthday i should make you a pumpkin cheesecake you should make me a pumpkin cheesecake on (gasps) on penguin cooks yeah is this a thing we should make this a thing high five so you can high five for that. Um, <laughs> this should be a thing, actually. It should be a thing. I am filming it very soon. Actually, gentlemen, probably tomorrow. Right here first, Penguin Cook Special Kilowatt Birthday Edition. Pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. Sweet. Sweet. Moving on. By the way, comments below. Happy birthdays, or I just assume that you hate me. Come on, give him give him a happy birthday. Give him like thumbs up. Just thumb up this video right now. Yeah, or thumb up wherever you want to put your thumb. Just thumbs it up, man. Just thumbs it up. Say hit thumb that like. Up. Hit that like. And if you're on YouTube, 
hit the subscribe. And then go to our Facebook and like that. Well, on YouTube also, hit the subscribe <laughs> and punch that bell. Yep. So you can get all that's the that's, reminders. That's the subscriber. Yeah. Yeah. That's the subscriber alert. Yeah. Uh, so what have you been up to uh, so far this fine spooky dookie month? Ugh, I've been so busy. You have been busy. Work, 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 work. Okay. I've been doing not so much of that. Ugh. Just... I've almost took off a portion of my work week every week this month. I did take off. And now I'm all out of... I took off a whole block. You did. I did, so I could just relax and chill and work, 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 work. I'm all out of vacation time, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Well, oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, uh, yeah, I've been watching some movies. I've been watching some TV shows. What do you catch? What What's the one thing you've watched most recently that stands out as the best thing you've watched recently? Mm. <laughs> Say recently one more time. I'd have to say probably Luke Cage. Really? I mean, we talked about that before on the show, but I've been... Can I give you a spoiler? I finished watching the first season, and now I'm working on The Defenders, and then I'm going back and starting the second seasons of all of them. You want a spoiler? No spoilers. No, this is like not a spoiler about the storyline. It's been canceled. Yeah, no, that's why I want to finish watching the second season and all that stuff. Sad news. Yeah. I don't think they're going to cancel Daredevil, though. That's just, that movie or show is awesome, in my opinion. I did watch Halloween themed. I did watch, uh, you know, The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Oh, Christ. I uh, have this thing that I do every year for I each just, season where I have to start with, like, The Great Pumpkin, then go to Thanksgiving. Like, everything Charlie Brown I watch. I love Charlie Brown. It's just, I think it's a kid thing. Like, it's like. Nostalgia, okay. you know. Let's go with my kid nostalgia, all right? Because I love you, but my personal nemesis is a big uh, Snoopy fan. So <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, George. Finally, I get a shout out on my show. If anybody knows George and this is George, I'm talking about, and uh, wants to give him a nice little Halloween beatdown, you didn't hear from me, but thank you. Anyway. Um, Wow. My, I didn't know we were having a therapy session, but okay, <laughs> it's let's cathartic. Go. <laughs> anyway, uh, my movie, Ernest Scared Stupid. Yes. Right? Yes. How about that? Nice. Yeah, that's a nice. Good. What's that one? Ernest P. What's that one TV network that ha- it he goes, rests in peace, but what's that one TV network that goes hard on Halloween? I think they do Christmas too. Shutter? Is it the C? It's not the CW, is it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Disney? I do know since uh, Halloween Town one through how many of our of oh, the day of this day being, I do know that the the Halloween Treehouse of Horrors, a Simpson edition, is coming up. So oh, again, I think that's I think that's actually can they just be done? Yeah, it's, it's like version five hundred. <laughs> like, I'm just not in. They have so many episodes. There's so many seasons. It's great that FX you can go back on that and watch all there's those. So episodes. there's literally so much Simpson. That I'm just like, nah, I'm good. And now they're spreading in. They're spreading into like online stuff. Like Netflix has a has a Simpsons uh, esque type cartoon. Oh, but for Mac Roning, the yeah. uh, disenchantment. This show is not great. Speaking of Netflix, <laughs> you've been watching what that BoJack Horseman? I have, but if I can back up one second, I have to ask you a question. So there's Disenchantment, which you haven't watched, so mm-hmm. I can't really ask you. But between The Simpsons and Futurama, choose. Oh, man, I'd have to say Futurama. Same. Poundsies. All right. And just easily, because you know what? It was canceled. I wish it would come back, because I do love the show. But there, like I said, with Simpsons, it's, there's just so much of it that I'm just overwhelmed. Just I can't even watch reruns and be like, oh, this is one I haven't seen before because I've pretty much seen them all. And even if I haven't seen them, all the new ones are like the same. If not, it would take you. I wonder how long it would take you to watch go from <sighs> yeah. episode one to now. I wonder if the, Google probably knows. But if any of you guys know, how long would it take you to watch every episode of Simpsons currently available? Drop it below. Yeah. Hit us in the comments for that. Yeah, uh, I do have a lot of items from a Superman box uh, that I am willing to give away. Uh, so you might want a prize. Pin. You're not getting rid of the no, pin. No, the pin I'm keeping. The pin I want. Um, <laughs> He's so like, "Yo, give me the NWO championship." You were, pin. I'm like, "No." You're asking me about BoJack, though. BoJack Horseman, yes. 
okay. Two things. I would like to. F- I would like to start watching. Please it. start watching it. I think I so will. we can talk about it. Is the comedy good? For me, it is. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing about me. If you haven't guessed it already, I identify with Robin Williams. One because I tend to be a funny guy and I'm on all the time, but secretly I'm like uh, I hate myself. Um, you identify with a lot of people. You also said you were JD off of Scrub, so you know because of the way I think. Ugh. You can't say something to me and I'm not immediately. Would you just take a bunch of celebrities and try to piece together the actual what? So it's, <laughs> it's JD from Scrubs and BoJack Horseman because I'm basically BoJack Horseman, just never was a celebrity once. How about Dom DeLuise for looks? I'm Dom DeLuise. <laughs> I look like Dom DeLuise. I'm depressed like Robin Williams. And uh, I think mentally like JD from Scrubs. And eat like John Goodman. That's sad. But hey, congrats. <laughs> congrats to him throwing Roseanne to the side. And the, oh, the Connors oh, is you, a success. I was going to say, so you want to bring this up? I'll bring it up. The Connors is a success. Everybody doubted. No, but no. they do it with Roseanne. Without Roseanne, and guess what? I'm still doubting. I still think it only goes one season to get. Did the you watch it though? I didn't watch well, it. Then you, okay, but you're, but I'm you're thinking. I'm. I'm. Here's the thing, man. I don't like to get too political on stuff that we do, but Roseanne. I didn't think it was worth losing her job over. She has, she has, uh, she knows she's bipolar, right? Here's the thing: a lot of people who are comedians have a degree of mental illness. Yeah. All right. Uh, whether it be depression, bipolar, um, schizophrenia. And what's crazy is, like, the next day, <laughs> she she even said, "I was joking, I was kidding," right. and then I take it back, and I'm sorry. It's unfortunately, like, unfortunately, you have to read the room, and read the room of today's society is. Mm-hmm. I have feelings. Feelings. Give me a safe space. Okay, I can respect your safe space, but at some point you have to like realize that you're part of a community. Mm-hmm. Feelings. feelings. But anyways, on, on, a, on a lighter note, I'm, I'm happy that the Connors did pretty good. Um, Hold on. They'll probably get one season. I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to come at you. Why? What if somebody came at you, you know, about, like, w- would you be as accepting if the shoe was on the other foot, you know? Oh, what, somebody being racist to me or being, like, yeah, kidding? Like, w- yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if they were, like, you know, you white. I don't know what a white. Okay, we're done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, see, I feel like this is just a bad territory. You're gonna get into a fine line where the Watts gonna be like very political, and then we're yeah. we're gonna have to like. I don't want to shoot the. Other all right, thing. that's it. That's it. We're have to make him tape face, tape face. So what was the next? <laughs> but it's we're cool talking. though. It is cool that they that they were able to live past the Roseanne thing and actually. I, I, congrats. Be to the John, phoenix yeah. of TV shows and this and whole freaking serious conversation stemmed from a fat joke. Thanks. <laughs> um, so anyway, because John Goodman eats a lot, but anyway, Bojack Horseman. Have you ever seen his commercial? The one for McDonald's where he's eating oh, the geez. he's eating the quarter pounder with cheese in here. That's the last thing I want to hear ever. So I'd rather watch David Hasselhoff eat a burger smiles. off the floor. And then he smiles. I, I think it's like the one of the greatest commercials ever. No, David Hasselhoff because, no, no. eating a burger off the floor is a better commercial. Have you tell me you've seen that? Yeah, I have. But in this commercial, they put on the top, it's even juicier and tastes better while he's chomping. Paris Hilton (laughs) eating a burger in front of a car is an even better commercial. Because it was one. Okay, Bojack Horseman. I'm sorry. Anyway, watch it. Um, Yeah, watch it. (laughs) It's Halloween. Let's talk about Halloween movies. But you didn't. Dude, tell us about Bojack. This is not going to sell me on how to. Watch Bojack Horseman. I really want to. I really want to watch it though. But if you're not going to explain to what, I don't even know what it is. I just know it's a guy, a okay. guy with a horse right. face. So basically, that's it. It's a guy right. with a horse face. Okay, one. It's Will Arnett. Sold. <laughs> All right, I'm sold. Two. He uh, basically okay. So he's like a washed up, kind of depressed, insecure, down on himself, ex TV star from the '90s. Uh, he was on a show called Horsin' Around, right? Funny. Uh, where he raised two uh, human children. They were like orphans or whatever. And, you know. <laughs> I gotta watch this. I'm gonna watch it. Did I sell it? Did I, I sell it? 
Robbins. <laughs> so I like it's, that. It's a good show. I like that. He's, he's an ex, like, yeah, so he's A-lister like, who's, exactly. like, dep- depressed because he probably can't right. get a job or a show. Right? And then, yeah, and then he's just living his life. Like, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of drinking stuff. and bad violence. And oh, like if, if I can just give you the epitome of the terrible things that happen, the, his daughter from the TV show eventually is, like, a drunk... <laughs> drug user, okay. all this stuff. I might he, watch this tonight. He, to be he honest, takes, <laughs> he takes her in because he feels responsible for her because he was her TV dad. They end up having sex. Nice. Yeah. All right. So it's it bad. So Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Did I go too far with a little a bit having sex with a female human? <laughs> Happy Halloween. Um. So. Yeah. All right. What is the one Halloween movie that you go to when it when the clock Every year? strikes? It's Halloween. It's it's October. I need to start watching I this stuff. Literally have to be that guy who it's Halloween. I have to watch Halloween. Michael nice. Myers. That is the first nice one that I watch every year. Uh, two. You no, know, with Jason. Never been a big Freddy fan. No critters. No, no, that's number three. <laughs> Critters is always my number three. I have been a big Critters fan since I was a kid. Um, number four, look, I'm just giving you the rundown. Oh, yeah, let's do the top five. You got to go with like super corny and not even actually scary, but I do know people who were scared by it. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And five, pretty much just a toss up, but. Um, my most recent is I don't even know The Shining. That's actually so. It's not the first one I watch, but my favorite horror movie of all time is The Shining, and it's at least the fifth one I watch every year. I thought it was The uh, Conjure. Conjure. Ooh, no, no, those that no those. Here's the thing: when it comes to like paranormal, like horror stuff, The Conjuring is like my favorite series. Yeah. But The Shining not only is my favorite horror movie of all time, but is my favorite movie of all time. Hmm. For so many reasons that I'd have to spend another podcast delving into. So let's just say watch the documentary Room 237 and you'll totally understand. <laughs> Good pun for Room 237. Good, jo- <laughs> Good job, man. Way to, way to promote that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> We're promoting crap, folks. That we don't even—I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> so let me tell you. I might what, have to go look that up now. Let me. All right. If you want to watch something about like conspiracy theories, but it, there's so much things that are in the movie The Shining that you might not realize on the surface. But some of the imagery people believe to be purposely put there by the director Stanley Kubrick. Certain imagery suggests that Stanley Kubrick used. <laughs> The, I'm going to say imagery one more time to confess that he was hired by the government to shoot a fake moon landing that we know as the moon landing. Laugh what you want because you don't believe in conspiracy theories, <laughs> but it's very possible. Watch the documentary. I okay. think it's on Hulu. So happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> this is it. This is the moment where I quit Wicker Turtle because I'm <laughs> descending Penguin. <laughs> no, no, Happy Halloween, you know. Okay, you Halloweeny. Didn't even ask. You ever seen Frankenweenie? Didn't even ask what I go to here in October. Frank- have you ever seen Frankenweenie? Yes, I have. The original Frankenweenie. Oh no, no, not the. I saw the cartoon. Okay, I haven't seen the cartoon. Really? Should I? Is it good? <laughs> this is kind of corny, but not bad. It's kind of like Pet Cemetery for kids. Uh, <laughs> Dude. That's kind of what it is. Ooh, oh. remake. Remake. I you have to talk about that. Let's talk about it. Is that that's not is that is that that's next year though, right? I don't know when it's coming out, to be honest. I just know the trailer is just released for Pet Cemetery the remake. What's your view on these types of things like this? Where they take a classic like that and here's the thing. Try to modernize it. I don't hate it. Because I think a lot of the movies that were made in a different era could use a modernizing by way of graphics. If you could literally take a movie shot for shot, word for word, and bump up the graphics to modern standards, I'd be happy. You don't even have to reimagine the movie. Yeah. If it's that much of a classic. 
like Nightmare on Elm Street. Modernize the hell out of that, but don't change the movie, and I'm happy. It's cool. That's me. That's cool. That's cool. I also am not against fan films because I want to create so many myself. Oh, yeah. So I, I like that idea too. But they have to be of good quality. We have to go see Halloween, man. We do have to go see the new Halloween movie. So, which, by the way, deletes the original Halloween 2 through like a million. And this is now the new Halloween 2. Same script? No. I'll it, say, it, she's kind of old right now. No, no, no. Well, uh, uh, Jamie Lee <laughs> Curtis is in it. You got to young the crap so out of her. <laughs> so, what some of the stuff is d- did is that they. The original part two is when you find out that Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis, is Michael Myers' sister. And that's why they have this connection and he can like go to find her and stuff. This movie is now replacing part two. It's not his sister. So I don't know. I don't even know what his motive of still going after this girl is. Interesting. Um, or it might still be a sister. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I know that that's one of the things that I thought was scrapped. Yep. I- interesting. I told you when, when uh, October comes around, I, I usually, like I said, I always go to the nostalgia stuff with, the, you know, the Charlie Brown. And, you know, that's always a, that's always the thing. You just don't care for the horror horror. You just like, like, I'm not you're done like, yet. You're like more of a fall festivus kind of guy. I'm not done yet. The leaves are changing and they're falling. Assumption. Assumption, sir. Would you would you consider and I'm just because of my little song there reminded me of the scene in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where they're going We're rowing, not knowing where we're going. Would you consider Willy Wonka in any capacity a horror movie? That scene is actually really kind of scr- crowded. Think scr- of the dynamic of Willy Wonka himself and how scary he would be to meet as a kid. Yeah, I think it <laughs> on some level, Willy Wonka's a horror movie, <laughs> not the Johnny Depp one. <laughs> Cookie should have been, <laughs> should have been. Tim Cookie. Burton should have capitalized on it, but he went really weird on it. So yes, the cartoon. I usually go to that. I'm a dad. I have to watch that stuff, anyways. Yeah, that's fair. Got to pass that nostalgia down. Um, Freddy, uh, Freddy's, of course. I love Freddy Krueger. Okay, Jason. I always go to those movies. Right, and what was the first uh, movie with Jason in it? Jason 1. <laughs> That's not the name of the movie, though. It's Friday the what? 13th. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Huh? And you're wrong. Okay. Everybody got to know that it's Friday the 13th, too. Friday the 13th, Jason's mom was the killer. Yeah. And if you watch Scream, you would know that, which is another one of my favorites. I got to watch it every year. Scream. I love Scream. I love Scream. What's up, Doofy? <laughs> I got a little woozy here. Woozy over here. What's up, Doofy? <laughs> Thanks, fan. But let's let's uh, let's talk about uh, scary movie. Scary like the scary movie. What the? What the? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, too much comedy. What, what is he doing, man? This is Halloween. We, no, we should chilling, chilling, <laughs> chilling, smoking some. You gonna hit this shit? Uh, yeah. You gonna slash gas? Cut another hole in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, son! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. I mean, I like I like the Halloween movies too. I like yeah. them. I haven't seen them in a while, though, so I really I need to go back and take a look. At Have them. you ever watched the uh, Rob Zombie versions? No. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the newer versions, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. Those are good. I like them. I like the first one. The first one I'm like a little iffy about because it gets into some weird stuff, but I do enjoy it. I like the House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, oh I love so you great. right now. So Do you really? Yeah, that's a good We're watching movie. that this week, then. Nice. We should watch that. Now, House of a Thousand Corpses, that movie. It's great. You guys are going to think I'm weird. That movie is insanely sexual. <laughs> yeah. Like, when she's, like, with the cheerleader, she has her tied up. and Yeah. It's really sexual. That's a creepy this is creepy. I always thought the clown, like the clown dude, was mad creepy. The creepiest person in that movie was the tall dude. Yeah, 
No. Dr. Satan! <laughs> <laughs> I love House of a Thousand Corpses. I'd be down to watch that. Um, so, you know they're making a new one. Yeah. House of a Thousand Corpses, but then there was... Uh, what was the next one? Why am I blanking? <laughs> anyway, there's a part two. Now they're making a part three of the with the same uh, family involved. We're blanking right now, folks. If you guys can think of that, comment below, please. Who's your favorite character from that movie? I just told you. Oh. The clown dude. He's like creepy Captain as hell. Spalding, right? He's f- creepy as he's hell. He's hilarious. He's creepy, though. <laughs> Mad creepy. In the second one, he's even super creepy. When <laughs> he's having sex with that big girl in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I love Captain Spaulding, bro. All right, we're just tickling your inner child right here, y'all. Right? I love. He's, I love Halloween. He loves bro. this. This is his favorite episode, folks. This is my favorite month. So, okay, okay, we're trying to bring something back, guys. Of a thing that we started with Studio Chat called the Dreamcast. Whoa, is that that video game system we used to play? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? I, I love video games. But no, we're trying to bring back the segment of Dreamcast. So, what? what is what are we going to remake today? All right. Well, what are we going to... I already let's told you what I... with a movie. Um, well, I'm like let, you. I couldn't remember all the people that was in yeah. it such a long time so ago. So, you want to do Pumpkinhead, but I, it's been so long since I've seen Pumpkinhead. And, and I don't know. He probably said Pumpkinhead. How does he know about Pumpkinhead? Oh, Who geez. is this guy? I was surprised when you said it. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to go ahead and say that I believe this is a movie that should be remade. However, uh, yeah. I, I just couldn't give you the cast. So, let's go with... I'm blanking. <laughs> uh, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween. Let's Halloween. make a live action Nightmare this Before is Christmas. Halloween. This is Halloween. Let's cast a live action Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> okay. All right. So the main character. Okay. So I want to cast anybody in their prime. I was going to say Johnny Depp is the main character. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Easily. Johnny Depp as Jack Skeleton. And he was in what? He was in Corpse Bride. He was in Corpse like Bride. Wasn't he? Was he in like... Yeah, no. Um, Him and Tim Burton are like friends. Yeah, let's go with Johnny Depp for... Um, actually, Jack no. as Jack? I lie. I lie. Personally, I'm going to go with Alexander Skarsgård, who is Eric in True Blood as Jack Skellington. I think he could pull this off. Okay. Um, You would go with Johnny Depp, though? I wouldn't hate that. He's a Tim Burton guy. Yeah, I would say that too. Um, Let's make you Tim go? Burton great again, you know. So the uh, the love interest, who would you go with? I'd go with Liv Tyler in her prime. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. But if it was in the seventies, I'd go with Shelley Duvall from The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the dude who like keeps her captive, the worms what or worms and what and heesh. and heesh. and her butthole <laughs> from Psycho. Who we know about Psycho? <laughs> <laughs> they already remade that a couple times, didn't they? They did they quite did. a few with Vince Vaughn. <laughs> um, okay, so the who would, who worms what? Oh, go ahead. Let's go, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> He's dead. Danny DeVito? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. You thinking of anybody? I'm trying to remember who that is. Yeah. He's in a wheelchair. He's like a little he's the one who kept her captive. Oh Timmy. <laughs> he does kind of look like Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're gonna skip that one. How about um what was it? The boogeyman guy, right? Who would you play as him? You already know. Yeah. WWE's own. Boogeyman? The Boogeyman. How cool would that be? <laughs> How cool would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas. <laughs> I was thinking maybe James Earl Jones. But I can see it. Got the voice and it'd be mad creepy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can see that. Yeah. I see it. 
This would be cool. This would be an actually cool movie. Yeah. Live gonna, action. Who would be the two faced mayor? Hmm. I see John Goodman. <laughs> now that we're thinking about Talk it. Talk so much John Goodman. Yeah. Uh I can see that. Or maybe the bot remember that chubby dude that was I got what, I got it. I got it. Jason Alexander. Win. That was good. He could totally do that. Yeah. Can't stand you. <laughs> Can't stand you. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Um, just for good measure, who'd play Santa Claus? <laughs> you have somebody in mind? I do. Is it Tim Allen? Yes. Shut up. Please say what you like. So she said Santa Claus. Tim Allen. He's like the best Santa Claus ever. I actually think he is Santa Claus, to be honest. Scott Calvin. <laughs> Scott Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> so By the way, he got a win. He yo, he got a win this year. He fought the man and he won. Yeah, he's they canceled his show, he, and he. You say he's the last man standing. He is, and it's succeeding. It's a good show, even though they had to recast the middle daughter. Yeah, but it's still succeeding. Like, it's still great reviews of, of it, and yeah, I watched the first few episodes. I haven't watched it yet on Fox, but I've been exactly. I've been hearing so many great. I love that show, so and I was happy. Very happy when they're like, yo, it's coming back. And I'm like, yes! Finally. Yes! Yeah. He fought the man and he won. I love it. I dig it. So. How about this? Well, back to the Dreamcast. Who would play the Wolfman? Obviously, Siler Andrews. Hello, Ah, uh, no. no. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Because <laughs> he plays the Wolfman. <laughs> Crazy eyes. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania. Oh yeah, nice. which by the way you're a fan of now. I am. I can't wait to watch the third one. I, I'm slack. We gotta watch it. I'll I'll tell you what? I'm, do you have? A, I can get it. Cool. Yeah. If not, I'm just gonna order it on pay per view at home. No, I'll get it. I'll get it's it. Like three bucks. Yeah, and it bills me. Bring it to work. Oh, um. So yeah, that's pretty much like that's the main cast. Yeah. You know, I don't really have to recast the three kids because they mainly wear masks. Um. That's a good movie. I'm I'm excited to see our version of it when I go to sleep and dream that cast. Yeah. So, all right, guys, that's the show. Happy Halloween. And it's your boy, the penguin. I'm the kilowatt. And what we should should we do? End the show. But we should also. Well, you should also like, share, subscribe, and see first for all things wicked. But bam.